Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Plays Black Screen. Oh, there we go. Hey. Okay. Let's do this. We're due for an Isaac run. We won an Azazel run. Not in record time, but doing pretty well here. No curse on the first floor. ADMX 9ZWK. This is it, you guys. What do I mean by that? This is going to be 20 wins right here. I mean, we're not going to do 20 wins in the same video. That would be ridiculous. However, this is going to be the start of our 20 win streak. Remember... Who called it? I'm sick and tired of uh, winning 75% of my games as we've done reliably over the past week or so. Instead, I probably shouldn't have used a bomb to get the key there, but I, yeah, I mean, a bomb for a key is not a bad trade on the first floor, but I would rather have the Spirit Art probably. Uh, or, I guess, uh, maybe Small Rock from that uh, Tinted Rock. But anyway, we're gonna do it. I'm sick and tired. I'm motivated. Let's do this shit. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Okay, flies are going to go down easily. Feels good to be Isaac again. That Azazel run occasionally almost went tits up as a result of my own idiocy. Mom's pad, not worth it. Peeper's eye, pretty bad, but at the same time, I'll take it. It can occasionally be useful. Uh, and if we just wanted to walk like near Peeper's eye, if we actually made that strategy work, we would be a goddamn genius. But I was like, we could just stand near Peeper's eye, and then when it does damage to things, like, we'll also be safer. Oh, that's Peeper's eye right there. You see that? It did like one tier's worth of damage when it spent a second and a half over top of Blue Famine. It's really best for dealing with um, crowd control -y type situations. You know, situations in which we're going to have a, uh, a bunch of flies or something like that. That's really the, the only time that it'll be super useful. And it keeps having a bunch of near misses. That one actually hit, though. Another Tinted Rock in here, but we're going to get a Spirit Heart for sure for beating Blue Famine. Okay, that's fine. We're also going to pick up a uh, Cube of Meat or Ball of Bandages here. I'll be content either way, I think. Kind of a, like, random fuck you final shot there, huh? We need to look for some more bombs, because if I could actually get started on, like, bomb meta, we could pick up a lot of Tinted Rocks on this floor, and a Spirit Heart would seriously be... Uh, like, we already have one, two of them, just in case something goes wrong with the first one would be a nice added bonus. A small rock would be huge. We could open a golden chest. We could open a restaurant and just fucking live out our days serving artisan pizza to people in a handcrafted environment. But for now, let's talk about the whole, uh, bomb situation rather than, uh, Napoli pizza. Which I'm gonna be opening up this fall. Um... Like a single, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Money, not a lot. Give us a little bit of, little bit of money here. Turned out to be a terrible decision for me to, uh, for me to use that bomb on uh, the place that I did use that bomb. I know there's other orange fires back there, but I can't go get them. It's just a little too risky to break them up. They're gonna hit us in the process. Gosh, now I'm like, we might as well. Okay, get ready. Bait out a shot. Or go in there when your cube of meat's ready to go. That's alright, that's alright. We can absorb that. Just a flesh wound. Good. Half a red heart for nothing, but that's alright. We tried, because five cents is where we get that more or less guaranteed bomb if there's one for sale. If not, we'll just buy another spirit heart, which is fine as well. Man, we're fudged, aren't we? Yep. Oh well. One spirit heart and a cube of meat. All things considered, it's still pretty good. We got two keys so we can open up our item room on the next floor. Our shop, if we get enough money. Curse room a little bit later. Not right now. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it. You gotta take the good with the bad. Yes, that floor could have been better if I had just waited like literally one room to use my bomb. But hey, this is the situation we're in. This is the situation we're gonna have to deal with and that's okay. Real shame I didn't get an extra cent as well. If not for the bomb, then just to spawn an arcade because holy crap, there is a... Uh, Rainbow Poop, which is an extremely useful addition to any arcade run, especially early. Uh, basically, a Rainbow Poop, when you see it, if there's a blood bank on the floor, that might be like an extra guaranteed seven or eight cents. It's basically like getting a random nickel drop. Oh, man. Well, that went from <laughs> awesome to terrible pretty quickly. Hey, it's a penny. Hey, I missed it. I'll go back for it, obviously. And hey, I missed it to go fight Envy faster. How majestic. And what kind of riches... Will Envy hold for us today? Do you think maybe we'll get uh, a troll bomb? Can we, Daddy? Can we get a troll bomb? Just this once, my dear. Whale oil prices have skyrocketed, and your father is a very lucky man. Hmm. Yep, yeah, there's a troll bomb, as predicted. 
We did lose half a spirit heart in the process, but that's a small price to pay, sort of, <laughs> for getting out of that room a little faster. And uh, yet another Tinted Rock. But this time, we have some peace of mind because we know we can get into the shop, probably pay five cents for a bomb. And uh, after doing so, get a key back in addition to whatever the spirit heart holds. That's a good return on our investment, probably. Even if we don't need keys so much right now. Uh, all things considered, this is not the worst big room. It's not my favorite room in the game. It's still annoying. But as far as like basement big rooms go, it's a little bit less dangerous, I think, than your standard like, hey, here's a hundred flies. You may disagree. I like it though. It's got a it's got a set pattern to it. If we wanted to, we could be a little cheeky, try to knock out uh, some sweet ass Cuba meat plays here. But I'm not uh, in love with that. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Pretty easy. Let's check out our item room. We do have a reroll. Don't really want to use it right now. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, epic fetus. I'm gonna take it. I don't always like to take epic fetus because I find it to be very easy. But, in a way, I kind of just want to say blame the game. If the game had given us any fucking bombs, I wouldn't be saying, well, I'm going to take Epic Fetus so that I can get all those tinted rocks that the game seems to revel in not actually letting us enjoy. So, that's, uh, that's the situation as it stands right now. There's small rock for us. Much appreciated. We might as well go into our shop now, because if I see something I like, I can just blow this shit up. I don't really want to blow up our donation machine in this situation, though. And we'll uh, head down here. Oh, Black Bean! We might actually get the ability to fly here, so we'll see. But, uh, yeah, with Epic Fetus, you would expect this to probably be a one run. There are some Epic Fetus synergies, though. Let's see what's going to happen. This is a decision mostly born out of the game presenting me with a bunch of Tinted Rocks. It's like, a, you will never get this, you will never get this, and then I got it, you know? Um, let's re-roll it. I'm happy with that re-roll. I mean... There's a case to be made on a couple of different sides. Like if, uh, excuse me, if our uh, secret, or if our curse room, I should say, ends up being a guppy item, then I'm not gonna be as thrilled. Like I would have rather had guppy's tail and had a chance to become guppy, but as is, it's not really that big of a deal at all. We already fought that many boss. Would've been nice to have epic fetus for that. And let's go into our curse room because we can afford to do so now. And inside, we get uh, two bombs. That's all right. Happy to be leaving this floor, feeling very good about our damage, feeling very good about a lot of things here. But uh, in a way, I wish you hadn't forced me into a game. But we're going to make the best of it anyway. Epic Fetus is uh, obviously a great item. There's nothing more that needs to be said. What do I want now? Loki's Horn? Quad Shot? Anything that gives a triple shot? Anything that gives us... Uh, some interesting synergies for what is otherwise occasionally guilty of being a somewhat boring item. Come on, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Some enemies are going to be tough to hit. And there you go. Now we're never going to have bomb problems again. This is like when, you know, kid that got bullied in high school for being a little bit overweight becomes like a professional bodybuilder or something like that. You know, those, those wounds of not being able to open those tinted rocks stuck with me, man. And they've motivated me to become a, a better Isaac here. Thank you, Peeper's Eye. That was a great, underappreciated use of Peeper's Eye there. To finish off an enemy that otherwise uh, I wouldn't have been able to uh, take out in time because our rate of fire with Epic Fetus is, you know, one of the things that's maybe not as fantastic about it. You know what? Yes, I'm happy to take stem cells. I'm content to do so. Let's move along. If we want to save ourselves some time here, I should look for secret rooms uh, pretty, much, pretty much at every juncture. I'm going to just pick it up right now. We're kind of in a low-pressure situation here. Like... I would like to min-max a little better, but uh, it's not a huge problem. Keep in mind, we already have Magic Mushroom, which is just a stellar pickup, so I'm not really worried about getting mushrooms uh, from these mushrooms. I'm more worried about getting pharmaceuticals from these mushrooms. Nothing there. That's fine. We got uh, two pills over here. One is range down. One is lemon party. Good to know. And in here, I will definitely get starter deck if I can get the cash for it. If I can't, I'll just blow up our donation machine. Starter deck, great item. We could also come back and get another charge to, uh, you know, power up our D6 and reroll whatever the boss room gives us. But we got to see what that is first. What would go well with this? Speed. Speed would help out a lot. The ability to fly. 
Oh, come on. There we go. We can just do that one the old-fashioned way. I figured we had to have the boss room sooner or later. This is getting a little ridiculous. Might want to save enough money for an arcade on the next floor as well, because we could definitely benefit from that. But Starter Deck is too cool. I, I like Starter Deck a lot. Being able to carry two cards can really uh, change the late game. Almost hoping for Krampus here. Yeah. Why do I, People are always like, why do you want to hope for Krampus? Why do you always jinx it? Why do you always jinx it and give yourself Krampus? I like paying the Krampus tax when I can pay the Krampus tax. <laughs> like, when it's convenient for me to do so, that's what I want to do it, man. I can't believe we're going to be, like, a little later out of this floor than you would otherwise expect, but whatever. Um, it, the best time to pay, uh, to pay the Krampus tax is when you can afford it, and I definitely could uh, afford it right there. Uh, so we're at... 19 cents now we're at four cents wheel of fortune oh this is perfect i will blow up wheel of fortune and i thought that for sure that would give me the money necessary to get an arcade on the next floor oh well let's do a little bit more exploration a little lazy to leave this floor without uh finding a second secret room or at least trying to find a second secret room definitely great damage there as well very smart uh we have the goat head now anyway so it's not a huge problem when it comes to deals with the devil, this should be a spirit heart back. Okay. Half a spirit heart at least. Very dumb of me. <laughs> what was my thinking there? I was like, well, I left, I have invincibility. So I can definitely walk over that uh, spike to pick up a penny. And I could, I just couldn't walk back. But that's alright. Red hearts are not going to be an issue for us. As a result of the fact that we uh, have little Chad and a lot of red hearts just kind of hanging around. 13 cents. Ah, that'll be 14 cents. Always nice, you know, peace of mind to know that you're ready for uh, the shop on the next floor. Can't really get to that, I think. All right, let's start looking for the second secret room as we make our way up here. Could be here. Could be here. There we go. And all ooh, potentially interesting. All pills have become cards now, so mushrooms are much more viable to blow up. Sun card, pretty good. I've kind of, I've started shying away from using the sun card as a full health, unless it's absolutely necessary, and using it more as like a Necronomicon plus compass. It depends on the stage of the game we're at, but I'll probably end up doing that on the next floor, just to make it a little faster for us to find the secret room. And uh, we can, you know, finish off a room with a Necronomicon as well, which is fairly fast. Curse of the Lost. Well, you know what? We won't use it on this floor unless uh, we absolutely get something better because we won't actually get the ability from the compass out of this, so that's fine. Unfortunate, but fine. And uh, we will come into this room. I could be persuaded to reroll my whole run right now for fun. Mmm, Guppy's head, huh? This is actually awesome. Making me wish a little bit that I'd taken the Guppy item earlier, but I can't be mad about Humbling Bundle. I just want to stay close, because we are going to re-roll the shit out of um, Guppy's head. Even though with Guppy's head, we're actually doing quite a lot of damage. Those flies are nothing to sneeze at. Bob's Rotten Head. Terrible item. The thing I hate most about Bob's Rotten Head right now is that even when you take it, it stays in the pool. It's so annoying. On that, like, two and a half hour run long, or two and a half hour long run that Kate and I had on her stream the other night. And, you know, again, this is becoming a little bit of a pitch, but you can probably... The VOD for that will be up soon at uh, twitch.tv slash katelovelymomo. Or, sorry, youtube.com slash katelovelymomo. Twitch.tv slash lovelymomo. Um, yeah, we'll take Champion Belt here. And we'll check this out, because, we yeah, exactly, why not, right? We haven't been to our item room yet. Let's go over there. Lard pickup is okay. A little bit slower, but I can live with it. Um, we got Bob's Rotten Head, Bob's Curse, Mr. Boom, about... Four or five times each, and that's not an exaggeration in the least. It was ridiculous. Oh, what's this one? Two of hearts. I like it. Um, I do like it. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to actually generate much from it, but that's okay. Now I have no idea where we are. Okay, this, that's going to be where uh, Guppy's head was, and now Bob's rotten head is. I don't know what pool that uh, room will use. So, I'm not going to prioritize that. Oh, I meant to go back there. Uh, I'm not going to prioritize that pool over like a... Um, just going to pop this for a second. Ah, I shouldn't have. Sun, sun. 
Sun, sun, sun. Okay. I'm not going to prioritize that over, um, like, the devil room. So I'm just going to hold on to my reroll now because I'm pretty close to the boss room, I think. I'm fine with that damage. It doesn't bother me. Rune. Yara rune. This is what we want. Now we can get blank card and just ball out of control as if we were not already. Let's just get our sun card out here just so I don't accidentally make a terrible mistake. We could hurt ourselves with Epic Fetus. And then... Uh, oh, limit party. That's okay. That's not good at all. Uh, we could hurt ourselves with... Uh, with Epic Fetus getting into the boss rush room. Boss trap room, I should say. Eh, I'm not that concerned about it. Then use the sun card to heal ourselves up. I'm actually just going to go. So I'm going to take Yera and Sun. I think we skipped a lot of this floor. Or a lot of that floor, but there's no way for me to really know that with Curse of the Lost. And just end up going in loops for like an hour. So For the sake of sanity, I chose to leave. And we'll go to our Curse room right off the bat. We got a sun card and we got uh, Goat Head. Curse of the Blind is always... A little risky, but Guppy's Collar is nice. That'll be our second Guppy item. And we got a chance at getting to Boss Rush if we want to. You know what? I'm just going to pop that. Now that I know we're relatively safe here. I don't necessarily want to go to Boss Rush, but if the game's going to offer it up to me on a silver platter, I, it would just be rude for me not to. I'll admit, by the way, I'm, I'm playing... A little suboptimally, but uh, it's nice to have an item that I'm not necessarily being seriously punished for on that. And the Yera Rune holds a lot of prospects for us for the future. We will try to blow these up. Actually place the bomb in the right place to get uh, four of them with one play there. It's something like a very minor like Isaac thing I've been working on is trying to figure out where to place that effectively. But that one worked out pretty well too. Maybe Epic Fetus is good bomb placement practice. Three tarot cards. Okay, world. I'm going to pop it just because I don't need it. Lovers will pop it. Devil. We're only going to keep the stuff we don't or we do need. High Priestess or could benefit us. High Priestess could benefit us. Wheel of Fortune does not. Probably, so I'll blow it up. And we'll leave. And I was like, I, maybe we'll come back. Because I do want to. That's double Temperance card. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, actually, no. One Temperance, one the Sun. This is going to give us more than enough money to do what needs to be done here. On the shop, at least. Really hoping we get blank card. So I think we pop into the next room, immediately pop the sun card, walk back out. It was dangerous, but it's okay. Worked out pretty nicely. That's going to hurt. No! Okay, got lucky. Harlequin baby. Not a, not a good pickup at all. Tell you what, let's go to our shop first. Very bad damage. Um, I'm thinking that in our shop, like, I want to do that in order to have a better reroll chance to get the uh, the blank card. It shows up all the time. This would be the one time it doesn't, though. Magician. Hmm. All right, well, we don't have to worry about a reroll here, then. We'll just take the Steam Sale if we get it, and if we don't, well, we'll be happy to take the money instead. Pop the Magician card so we don't get confused. And don't run around saying, like, hey, why didn't we, uh... Or why don't we go back and get that Tarot card? Maybe it's the, you know, Joker or something like that. It's not the Joker. Don't want to take us down too low here. I'll take us to half health so two of hearts can still be good, and then we'll blow it up. And we'll get a little bit more money out of it. That's, that's about as low as I'm comfortable going. Try one there, and then just stay close together. Super easy for me. Okay, 45 cents. Getting a little overkill here. I really want the guppy play here for the ability to fly and nothing else. The flies would be nice, but the ability to fly is very, very important. Alright, I'm going to High Priestess him. Probably one epic fetus shot would kill him anyway, but... Nice to get a second cube of meat, and in here, yeah, we'll try it. Gimpy, Gimpy is fine, though. All right, we are skipping not the item room. We've been to the item room. All right, so I'm going to try it here. We're going to skip some normal rooms for a chance to get our choice of four items. No Curse of the Blind. We're at 17 minutes. We can get through this just fine. Rooms are taking a little bit longer than I'd like. And if we end up missing Boss Rush, so be it. We end up missing Boss Rush. The shit happens, you know? 
trying to get Cuba Meat to actually get the kill there. Like, probably shouldn't be taking 30 seconds on a room like that with enemies that are very, very easy to kill. But without a teleportation card, once I go to boss rush, like, I'm in boss rush, man. That's you, Cuba Meat, your time to shine here. Taking out these little enemies. I would prefer a demon baby so I don't actually have to control it myself, but that's okay. 1744. Uh, we can't really afford to spend it, but like 20 seconds of room here. It is what it is, though. Perfect, perfect. No, 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 no. Keep on me, keep on me. Ah, uh, worth it. <laughs> I think it might have been worth it. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, keep it up here. 49 cents, dead end. You can think of dead ends as a good thing or a bad thing. I'm going to take it as a blessing in disguise right here. Because it means we know where not to go. We're at 18 minutes. Got to see item room. Got to see shop because the blank card pickup is too high. Our priorities are item room shop, our equivalent, and then blank card. Or Sorry, not blank card. Then boss rush. It started with a B. My brain got confused. Classic excuse. All right, so there's item room. Important room number one. Bloody Lust is actually awesome. I really like this item. Uh, you can make it sing if you've got a lot of HP. And we have, we have enough to probably consider that. Come on, one more. We could just skip through the rooms, but uh, that's not that's never really been my style with Epic Fetus. I could blow some smoke up your ass about how, like, oh, you, you know, it's not the honorable way to play the game. That's, that's stupid and arbitrary. Rather, and look who's talking, the guy who's like scums up every boss rush. However, I think it's mostly just that it's kind of, uh, it, it leads to me playing very sloppily. Which doesn't always stop me. This is perfect timing, man. We got our item room, we got our shop. We should be able to sort this out just fine. Plenty of keys. Blank card, man. Blank, go oh, no blank card. So, we reroll. No blank card. Buy the compass. Take this reroll. No blank card. BFF though, BFF's not bad. We'll just buy these out and then we'll go uh, hopefully have a chance to beat mom in time. Definitely that extra second or, sh or so I saved there, almost shaved there, will be important. So we can go in here and oh, 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 two of diamonds. Magician, high priestess, lovers, stars. Uh, high priestess. But we can't use it on the mom fight. Ah, okay. Do it. Do it up. I think we're fucked. I think we're fucked. We're not fucked. Go for it. Go for it fast. Okay, do we have anything we want here? Actually, no. I think we have nothing we want here. Tech won't work with Epic Fetus. Yeah, all right. That's fine, and our boss or our devil room's still open. I'll pick up Headless Baby. We got BFF. The more familiar is the merrier, as far as I'm concerned. We could still get Blank Card. It's just really unlikely. I'm glad we got the Compass, though. Curse of the Unknown. So we don't know our HP. Uh, relatively minor, though, in the whole scheme of things. Where are you at, though? Nice. Mostly, I'm happy to. Uh, I've got a good amount of HP. Pretty convincing win, I think, on our on our uh, fingertips here. We will go to the cursed room. This is our last guaranteed deal with the devil. I don't care if it's Guppy, man. Just give me the ability to fly. I can't be so greedy as to ask for Guppy on an epic fetus run. But just give me the ability to fly, and all is forgiven. And by forgiven, I mean like you have nothing to apologize for, game. But don't you want to be? Everybody wants to be forgiven. All right, Humbling Bundle, or I, I guess it's, uh, maybe it was Humbling Bundle, but I, no, it was the Contract from Below reroll earlier that uh, has allowed us to uh, get so many consumables. Hopefully those will continue to be Red Heart-ish. Mmm, that's fine. Not my favorite curse room, but we at least broke even. Almost botched that miserably. We don't have money equals power, so let's just put ourselves in here, and uh, if we didn't have Curse of the Unknown... I would be all over this uh, demon judgment here. I just can't do it in this situation. It's just too risky. Could accidentally kill myself. Wouldn't even know it. Like, I don't know if we're at a half heart interval. If I was at a half heart interval, I'd have some kind of like barometer for it. Whenever I got permanent Polaroid invincibility. Yes, the permanent Polaroid invincibility that lasts like three seconds. And I call it permanent nonetheless. Uh, we're not going to get our third level Cuban meat here, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Still a very easy fight. Um, it's just it's just too risky for me right now. Lucky me. 
Ah, perfect. Okay. Uh, this is going to fuck with our HP, but I think it's worth it for the passive ability to fly. Yeah, we'll take experimental treatment. We got epic feet. Is what is it going to matter, right? So we still got Yarrow Rune. We got more than enough keys. Uh, experimental treatment made it so we have no HP, which in a way might be a good thing. So that we actually have, uh... These flies are going to be so powerful. Uh, it might be a good thing so that we actually, uh... Have like one period of Polaroid invincibility? That seems like that's unlikely to be that meaningful. But hey, we're going to try it anyway. And with nine lives plus epic feet is we should honestly expect to win. Whether we have one life left or, you know, ten lives left. Emperor uh, definitely beats High Priestess here. It's neat that those drop different cards now. That was not always the case, I think. They used to drop duplicates of the cards. Which was sometimes, like, strategically extremely useful if you had, like, a Hierophant or something like that. But I like that it's a little bit more variable now. I, I don't know if that was patched in or something or if I'm just misremembering how it used to be, but... This is also going to be very fast, and actually perfect timing for our use of the D6 as well, because we are going to do exactly what we did in the last floor, basically. Emperor card it up right away. Start dropping fat epic fetus shots on this guy. It's another one where we barely missed boss rush, but there's like a decent chance we'll be done the run by 25 minutes anyway. That's not the norm. That's just two really, really weird situations coming together in a way that makes me... You know, it tickles your, your statistic uh, gland a little bit, doesn't it? It's novel, let's put it that way. We should start doing like, you know, 10 character world record speedruns or something. Well, let's start by winning like a single head to head first. Alright. Uh, down to the next floor. No Curse of the Blind, baby! Or maybe that would make it more interesting, but no Curse of the Blind, baby! Curse of Darkness, that is fine. Yara Rune. And then. Uh, interesting, but doesn't work. With us. Uh, bad, decent. Interesting. In oh, no! <laughs> Alright, well, if we're gonna... Let let's try this. Let's reroll ourselves first. That is an Ipecac, thankfully. It's like anti-grav Loki's horns something. We'll take Cricket's body along with it. Uh, we'll take Halo of Flies. We'll take the speed upgrade. We got super low speed. We got like guillotine going on right here too. And then we'll reroll these other four items that kind of, oh, five items I guess now that kind of suck. And we'll take uh, piercing shots. And we'll take uh, Capricorn. And we'll take Tiny Planet just to get weird, man. I have no idea how this is going to work. But we're going to do it anyway. Terrible start there for me. I think we got Dark Matter. That's why our shots are just kind of hanging out. Yeah. Generating a lot of flies. Prepare for us to take a, probably a lot of damage, though. We do have nine lives, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to end up losing a lot of them. It should be relatively easy to beat Blue Baby, but I, I think we're going to get hit on these rooms. They did drop some HP. There it is. We got Demon's Tail. Don't really need that key. I'm scared, uh of how this run's gonna go, so I'm just gonna fight the boss right away, because we're ready for it. It's not gonna be quite under 25 minutes, but it's gonna be close. Oh, that's decent. Alright, let's do it. What a weird turn of events to end this run, but I'm glad we didn't just scum it up with Epic Fetus the entire time. For about 30 seconds, we mixed it up with a run that was, like, even more powerful somehow. I don't even want to think about with the combination of items that I have there. But hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.